Today on the channel, we're headed to Walmart for a little AEW Jazzwares Unrivaled, this time with the Walmart exclusive, Darby Allen. The spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another AEW Unrivaled Jazzwares unboxing and review and today on the channel from AEW Jazzwares from the Unrivaled collection we got the Walmart exclusive Darby Allen but for all your Darby Allen needs better hit up Walmart but for everything else under the sun ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% and Darby Allen the latest and greatest from the Walmart exclusives we also got a Sting Supreme. We unboxed that on the channel. And then his wave mate, I guess we'll call it, is, of course, Brody King. Still looking for the key to Brody King's heart. Hopefully we find that one of those days. We already unboxed that Brody King on the channel. Now we're finally getting around to the Darby Allen. These are starting to hit pretty much every single Walmart. And in a lot of Walmart stores are really the only AEW figures you're finding is these. And, of course, before that, the Young Bucks. Before that, Eddie Kingston, Chris Jericho, the Walmart exclusives. So we're seeing some stores go to just the Walmart exclusives as far as their representation of AEW figures on the shelves. Always interesting in these lines and these resets. What makes the cut? What doesn't make the cut? It's a crazy adventure. And if you've ever been on the other side of trying to plan these resets and working with a corporation like Walmart or Target, it's always really interesting. There's a lot of give and take. There's other suppliers. Shelf space is a premium. That's one thing a lot of people don't re realize on these things. Shelf space is very difficult. But guess what? I don't know anything. I'm not sure. But I've been in these meetings before. We know Jazzwares. A lot of people say AEW is their bread and butter. It is not. It is Pokemon. It is Squishmallows. Hey, Walmart, here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you exclusive Squishmallows. We want four feet of space, whatever the space is. We want that, but in return, our AEW line, maybe it's struggling a little bit. Maybe it's not getting the sales you really want, but if you want those Squishmallows, guess what? You're going to need two pegs of this, and we're going to give you a Darby Allen Brody King exclusive. There's a lot of give and take on that kind of stuff in the aisle, using the power of Jazzwares as a whole to get shelf space for different things, things like that. So we see that across the board. You see it in the grocery division. You see it in toys. You probably see it in clothes as well. It's a wild ride out there. It's an interesting one if you're into that kind of thing. But one thing I'm interested in doing is doing this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there, do some comparisons later on. Got to say, not super exciting, this Darby Allen, though. We've had so many Darby Allens at this point. Uh, this one doesn't really feel too much different. It's basically a repaint. That's what we have right here. But we got old Darby Allen in the package. Got him looking good. Happier times when he had the TNT title belt. A little bit strange, this does not come with a TNT title belt, even though it shows him on the package there. Uh, apparently represents his time as TNT champion. Now, I'm filming this uh, the day before the pay-per-view. Does he win the TNT title? I'm guessing he does not beat Jack Perry, but you never know. But I'm sure a lot of people, Patreon members, you'll see this probably before that show. Uh, everybody else should probably see it a week after. Who knows when it'll be. Uh, but Darby Allen here not representing his title. We'll see if he wins it, of course, the big pay-per-view here in August. On the top, Walmart logo. That always makes Walmart feel good right inside. It's got the Walmart logo on the packaging there. Number 153, you guys know I'm not a fan of numbering, especially uh, store exclusives like this. Should have a different numbering system, I do believe. AW logo, All Elite Wrestling, of course, 153. There he is, just looking only like a Darby Allen could look if he was at the end of a match and had a TNT title belt in his hands and he was in an arena. That's what he would look like right there. Uh, watch Dynamite and Rampage, do not watch Collision. And then you got the D and Darby Allen autograph here. Pretty lazy autograph, Darby. We need to go back to school on that one, I think. But I'm going to get him out of the package. We're going to see what all the Darby Allen fuss is about. And there's a lot of fuss on Darby Allen. Uh, man, the guy, a risk taker. Truly a modern day Evil Knievel. Yes, maybe not as cool as Evil Knievel. See you later. Goodbye. But definitely a risk taker if there ever was one. There he is in the package. Pull him out. Look at this. No extra hands. Nothing going on. Just his homeless coat is what this is. Now he's uh, moved on to that pink coat he wears all the time. See you later. Goodbye. 
Uh, we got Darby Allen out of the package. And I guess the big thing about this figure really is kind of the jacket here. And it is a repaint of prior jackets, I believe. Once again, we'll pull that out. But it is a big orange jacket here. Uh, looking a little rough, of course, uh, as we've seen it on the TV shows. Uh, Dynamite, Rampage, Collision, pay-per-views. Uh, a little bit torn, a little bit tattered, a little bit seen better days as far as coats go. Got a few little graphics on there on the side. You got one down here in red, a little one in the dark there. But it's basically just a rubber jacket, a poly pocket jacket, of course. Uh, we'll take it off now. That's what we're going to do. We're going to strip this jacket off is what we're going to do on this Darby Allen figure. Not the easiest to get off, not the hardest either, especially with the double joints, helping it get off a little easier than uh, days of old, of course. No extra hands. I mentioned that. feels strange not to get extra hands in this uh, day and age. No title belt, anything like that. The only accessory is that jacket and his necklace here. So he's got that necklace around. Now, of course, Darby Allen. This feels like a Darby Allen figure. Looks like a Darby Allen figure. If somebody said, Kyle, do you have this figure in your collection? I'd probably say, yeah, yeah, I do have this one. <laughs> Apparently not, because I'm just doing it right now. But hard to keep track of all the different Darby Allen figures at this point. Unless you're a Darby Allen super fan. It's a lot like the Ruthless Aggression days with Jeff Hardy. I couldn't keep track of all that stuff. But the super fans, of course, would be able to. But it looks like looks like Darby Allen, no doubt about it, in the face. you got the Two-Face uh, inspired paint job here. I love that the one side has all the black and the paint going on. Nothing on this side. Just reminds me of a young Harvey Dent. Of course, the blonde hair up top, giving it a little dash of extra color. Uh, you do got some paint down there on the chest, of course. Got that new tattoo down his spine. That's probably a year some old at this point. You got the tattoos down the arm as well. White wrist tape going on. Pin joints. We know that with the Jazzers. Hopefully one day they can get rid of those. And then you got the usual Darby Allen, like Doc Martens down here. You got the black tights going on, some shorts. Are these some jorts he's got going on, a little camouflage style? Not sure exactly. Got pink fingernail polish on this one, looking interesting there. And then the tattoos down onto the hands, of course. Arms go all the way around for us, bicep cut. Double jointed, pinned elbows. I will say, some of the strongest elbows I've seen from Jazz Rares in a long time. We've had a lot of issues over the years, this being pretty loose. This feels very, very stiff, very, very firm. Uh, feels real good right there. Hands back and forth, side to side. Head back and forth, side to side. Hula hoop at the top, traditional waist. Big old Darby Allen splits. He's ready to go. He's ready to hop on a skateboard that doesn't come with this either. Legs do go up. Thigh cut. Double jointed pin knees. Very nice feeling once again. Boot cut. Ankles up, down, side to side, back and forth. The usual articulation as well. Does he fit on a Jazzwares ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Make sure you get the Jazzwares stands, of course. And he is truly relentless, like his tattoo says. He fits on a stand. He's ready to go. He's ready to fight the power is what he's re ready to do. Like a young Chuck D. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, but Darby Allen, Walmart exclusive. Got to say, not a lot of pizzazz with this one. Just kind of one of those figures that's just kind of there. Feels like something, hey, we're going to give this to Walmart. Something really easy we can do. Makes them feel a little bit special because it's an exclusive. And that's not a bad thing because these exclusives shouldn't be something that everybody and their mom wants. It's got to be something like this. That being said, I would have liked to have seen a TNT title belt in here. Extra hands in here. Maybe a skateboard. Something besides this jacket reuse going on. But we've seen a lot of Darby Allens. I grabbed the first one I saw with the jacket. Wanted to make sure it was the same jacket. Sure does look that way. Sure does look that way. Just painted a different color is all that ends up being. Makes sense, I go. I guess, though. Got to get the most out of your molds. We know how that goes. And Darby Allen, his legend continues. I'm okay with stopping the Darby Allen figures for now. The only Darby Allen figure we should have at this point now going forward is probably a Supreme Edition. I think that would be the closest thing because we've had so many of these. Is what it is, though. But we did get Brody King. Big Brody King trying to find the key to this locket. And when you unlock that, you unlock the key to Brody's heart, as we do know. And these two in the same kind of set for Walmart exclusive, which is interesting because they also came together last year for Ringside Collectibles and the Blood and Guts exclusive. So these two link together. How do I get in that linkage? How do I get to the key to Brody King's heart? We'll see if we can find that out one of these days. But not bad, but between the two, Brody King all day long and twice on Sunday over the Darby Allen figure. At least for me, your mileage may vary. Uh, but very interesting. If you're a Darby Allen fan, you got to pick this one up. Of course, at Walmart's right now, part of the new reset. I can see some people saying, I'm going to long game it, get it on clearance. We've seen all the other ones go to clearance, so I would imagine this one probably will as well. Choose your own adventure. Choose your own retail adventure on old Darby Allen and Brody King as well. So there it is, old Darby Allen, Walmart exclusive, AW Unrivaled. What are your guys' thoughts? A pick up, a pass, a long game, a no game, and I'm not so sure game, a clearance game. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support this YouTube channel and all the content it brings. And there's content every single day. And for even more content, more videos, check out the Patreon. Link in the description down below. Early access to all the videos from both YouTube channels. Glamour shots for all the videos. Monthly Q&As, monthly giveaways, dog stuff, pizza reviews, you name it. It's all over there on the old Patreon. It truly is the best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel, press tees.com, search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Darby Allen, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.